Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm back here with episode two of my survival starter series on Ningwas. Right where I left off on episode one in my HV, you can actually see in the bottom the IDA. Uh, it's popping up, and it's telling me about this convoy over here. Um, let me check what level I'm. I'm level five, so it's asking me to go over there. I'm actually going to go over there since I have a weapon. It's telling you not to do it unless you do have a proper weapon. Uh, which direction is it? It's right here. All right, let's go. Ooh, this thing's fast. I just knocked over a tree. Ooh. All right. Here it is. So I'm going to do a quick circle around it. I don't think there's any other predators around on the exterior. On the interior, there's just going to be a few guys. Actually, I can see one right now. Try to aim for the head. Hey, he's dead. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, I got some cobalt. I do need cobalt. So my next quest is going to be to try to get a drill. Oh, cobalt ore. That's that's actually that's actually jackpot. Um, five is what I needed to make ten ingots. Uh, all right, where is the other guy? I think there's another guy in here. I just jump up on top. There he is. Oh, I thought I reloaded already. Okay, he's dead. More cobalt. Wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to go into this little... Oh, I know what I need. Okay. Uh oh. Alright, let me get back in my vessel. I know what it's missing. I don't have the key matrix on me because I haven't I haven't gone exploring yet. Um this is because I picked up that thing. If you want to read it, uh I'm not gonna focus on doing the quests in this. Sorry if you're a quest person. They are totally worth it and totally worth your time to do to get EXP. Well, I got my multi tools. But I am not going to focus on I got the energy matrixes. Damn, that was uh, super beneficial to come here. Okay. However, I cannot. What level am I? I am level 6. Ooh, I'm almost to level 7. And I need to get to level 7 to unlock this drill. Oh, I need to unlock the ore scanner as well. Okay. I'm just going to explore. I'm going to go discover all this stuff over here. That'll get me there. I don't think there's anything of harm in here. Yeah, this tower is... I bu Oh, there we go. Alright, get out of your vessel. A sniper rifle would be really good right now. Yeah, these guys will be enough to get me to level 7. There it is. He is stuck on that tree. So I'm going to shoot him in the butt. I'm going to take their meat. Those will be delicious steaks. Now that I'm level 7, I'm going to get that drill. Get some more hot dogs. And back to base. That was actually really good. Really quick way to get some EXP. Yeah, and you can tell this HV is almost like an SV sometimes. It is super fast. Um, it carries a little bit. It, it handles itself well. It's got like four cargo containers in it. And I'm just going to shut it off right here. But it handles itself pretty darn well. 
Okay. And the meat goes in here. This is going to run for 4 hours and 18 minutes. That's good enough. Oh, you know what? I need to bring... I hope I have enough resources to make that drill. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go into my menu. I'm going to unlock the drill. Uh, go into the P menu and I guess drop all those in there. Making the drill. I need Prometheum to make the drill charges. Uh, on this planet though, I think there is Prometheum. There is not Prometheum. There is going to be some Prometheum places to pick up though. I need some Prometheum. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait for that to finish and then I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to look for Prometheum. Actually. Let me unlock the sniper. Sniper rifle. I need some stone and wood. Once that is done, I prefer the sniper rifle. That's a little bit better. Then I'm going to go out looking to try to get some Prometheum. I feel like I hear something out there. Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm listening. And I'm going to take that ammo. I'm going to head out. Oh, wait. I need to turn this off. Okay, Prometheum. I feel like, where am I going to find that? Probably in wrecks and containers. But what I really want to look for, actually, is that it? I'm going to go straight south. There's a couple things I, I'll be able to do from here that I are, I'm kind of thinking about. Number one is I want to go to this little POI down here. In addition to obviously getting the Prometheum, I want to go to this POI down here. Oh, I need to make an ore scanner as well. So this is the font of knowledge, and it's always there's always like this chevron, and it's always next to an, uh, another teardrop, which is the rescue module. So here you want to get out of it, and you just want to stand on it. And the key Matrix major take are detected. Yep. Configuration compatible. Imprint and access permission enabled. Key. Ma All right, I got it. So now I got the key which is this key matrix. It says, do not lose, do not, do not lose that. I don't know how to replace it. So uh, you need that because earlier I was at the convoy and I couldn't get into that one room. Let me make this a little bit higher off the ground. Uh, I couldn't get into that one door and it said access denied. And I think it's because I didn't have that key matrix. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, get out. You know, I don't like that new rule that they have. Uh, Prometheum stone, can I just pick it up? 
Okay, so the easiest way to do this, I found, is just to stand on your vessel for safety. It is negative 68 degrees out. Wow. Um, wow, that's a pretty tough stone. Well, I'm going to pound at it because I need some Prometheum to make those drill charges. The nice thing with standing on top of my HV is whenever I get cold, I can just duck into the HV warm up, get back out, and continue doing this. Like that, I jump in. And I should have stayed in just a little bit longer to raise my body temperature more, but that's okay. That'll be fine. I'm 62 degrees, 60. I might just get cold for a little bit just to finish this off. Yeah, I'm almost done here. Eight ore. That should be enough. Uh, I'm going to go make some charges. And on the way back, I'll have to remember where I got those from in case I need more ore. Prometheum. Oop, I heard another guy. I'm going to stop here. It was right here. In the following item. Weird. All right, let me do... I've never had that happen before. Okay, let me do this. Let me go into here. And I am going to leave, leave that running. We should investigate, blah, blah, blah. So up at the top, there are teleporters. And you'll have to get used to these. I'm not going to go through them. There are teleporters that take you to... This is this one takes you to Masperone. This one takes you to Skillen. This one takes you to Akua. And this one takes you... Well, you're at Ningwas already, so it takes you here, I guess. Um, let me go down. I'm kind of confused, actually, why I'm not able to open that one door. Uh, do you, should it be read out? I'm going to say no and close just to save some time. Okay. Let me try that again. I wonder if it's glitched. I've never had that happen where I can't get through the door. Alright, there we go. It always takes a while before the ve vessel to stabilize. Oh, maybe I needed that token. Weird. Maybe I've always gotten that beforehand. Oh, look at that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Lesson learned. Oh, look at all that. And night vision. Dang. Well, that was probably my fault. But either way, we got into the Matrix, which is awesome. Okay, now let's head back to my base. I want that. And then I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to make... some of these. What time of the day is it? Oh, it's daytime. Sweet. How's my food doing? Take that out. I'm going to make some uh, burgers. Make some burgers. I'm going to eat them. Bam. 
now it's now it's game time. Now this is this is this is good. The drill is so much faster than anything else in this game that it's not even I mean, it's not even close. Okay, so then look at all these resources. Four, four, three, three, five cobalts. I know what I gotta do next. Uh, I need to shut that down and eat some burgers, which is going to restore some health. All right, now I need to go get some resources. I need copper and silicon but you know what I kind of want to go check that out down there so I'm gonna go this way and discover some uncharted territory what is that old tower I've already seen that okay now if I see hostiles along the way I'm probably gonna stop and shoot them just for the exp the experience points the leveling all super important. Kind of want carbon substrate. There's carbon medium. What's this one? That's awesome. Carbon small. I'm going to hit them both. What I like to do is hit my alt key, go directly above them, hold your space key on your keyboard, and you'll see you lift up higher in the air. And then from here, I hit my F key, F4, or F5, whatever it is to launch the drone. And then I just stand on top of my vessel while, while my drill does the work. And this is where you get done, get a lot of stuff done fast. That's why early on when I hit, in episode one, when I hit the first deposits, uh, the iron, silicone, well actually it was the silicone and the copper, I did not focus on getting a lot of either one of them. I just wanted enough to get me started. Okay, I am full. Oh, what's this ice? That's the problem with this planet is you get a lot of ice when you do this. Uh, eventually what I'm going to go for is a cargo hauling HV. I have a blueprint called the cargo hauler. <laughs> Very creative, I know. All right, let's get the drone back and warm up. But that cargo hauler is great for running around the planet. How much? 900. If I look at my HVs, cargo hauler uses 283. Okay, that's enough. All right, I'm going to head out, and I can always come back here at a later time. I do want to get that cargo hauler, because that's just going to make this all uh, so much easier. What I need... Actually, I wonder if I have enough iron back at the base. I'm going to check this resource up here. Crash shuttle. I mean, these things have, like, a couple containers in them. If I can find the door and the steps, which is right here. Alright, just doing some quick looting here. Got these, not a whole lot here. Alright, now I'm going to keep... That's carbon. I'm going to head back this way. No, I want to go east. To discover that other resource. Hoping it might be some iron. If not, no big deal. South of here. Oh, oh, cobalt. <laughs> you know, I forgot that this planet has cobalt on it, so getting all that cobalt out of those guys wasn't all that big of a deal. There's lots of it here. Uh, I'm going to get in here and discover all this stuff.
for experience points really quick. Well, there's an iron. Of course, there's probably going to be an en enemy nearby. I see some spiders off in the distance. I think I got room on myself. Gonna get a bunch of iron really quick. Okay, let me throw that in cargo box one, throw that in cargo box two. Four. This is going to be full now. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to pick up whatever I dropped. Okay. And back to base I'm going to go, which is east. Now this HV, it's got four cargo boxes, as you saw. It handles this, the weight pretty well, which is really nice. But the next guy I'm going to bring in is quite a much, quite a bit bigger and stronger. Right, if I can just find my direction. Cruising on through. You can see it's tilting a little bit. I must not be balanced on my load, which is fine. Now that I'm here, that large constructor has a Wi-Fi extender on it, so I can just Wi-Fi right into it. I like to use these arrows, even though it's just one thing, but there's a bunch. Okay, I like to use those arrows. Now I'm going to go get the silicon and copper. You'll see these are going to pick up really fast. Well, I'm just going to go through and hopefully I get through without hitting so much stuff. Okay. There is the hole. get out of the ship that was stopped give me my drone and down we go for some silicon and you do want to keep an eye on your health bar just in case something sneaks up and starts hitting you but the reason I take the HV to full height at three three meters and then stand on top of it as it kind of insulates you or lifts you off the ground from any ground enemies. Hopefully I can pick up this whole deposit. And you can obviously see why I wanted to get to this drill so bad so fast. Um, I mean it's saving me so much time to pick up all these resources. Inventory full. And I got a little bit of inventory space left on me. Okay. There we go. Inventory full. Good enough. I'm going to get rid of this. Pick up the silicon. Here we go. Back to base. Back to base. Ooh. Hit a tree. Hit a tree. Hit a tree. Plinko. Shut it off. Shutting it off is always the fastest way to get it to the ground. Uh, large constructor. Drop my silicon in there. Oops. And all of that as well. I'm going to run down and get the uh, portable constructor started on converting it to ingots, actually. Actually. 
So if you go into if you hit F4 and you come into this menu, you do your connect to container, and I'm gonna drag my ore down to this bar, and then I'm gonna drop it into here. That's the easiest way to do it. Actually, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it in here. And now while that's going, how is this doing good? I am gonna go back and get my copper. see the hole lift it up to three meters whatever it lets me there we go copper copper is heavy so you may not be able to get quite as much as the silicon but man is this so much faster than the survival tool. I don't know if I had this one full. I did not. All right, and I am almost full on inventory. And once I am, I think I will have enough resources to spawn in. That's good. I will have enough resources to spawn in my next HV. Oh. Chugga, 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 chugga. There we go. I give it credit because copper, <laughs> copper is heavy. Oh, oh, I heard that. Oh, oh, oh. What kind of goodies did you bring to my doorstep? Um, large constructor. Okay. Now I do need to get inside. Pull the ingots or the ore out. I'm going to drop it into here and I'm going to stop this. Okay. The cargo hauler to the factory. It is only a level 5 unlock. Where is it? Need this. Oh yeah, I have enough iron. Wow, 53 units of copper. Iron. Silicon, almost enough, but I probably have enough now. Yep. Okay. Let's drop those. That'll be enough. For some reason, sometimes when you hit your inventory menu, and then you go in here, which you can see it now. So then I went to my factory, my toolbar disappears. And I haven't quite figured out why that happens. But either way, I'm going to disconnect from the toolbar. What do I need now? I just need copper. Uh, 100 
and ten more. All right, let's see what we got now. Thirty. Once I get that, I am going to build the cargo hauler, which has almost 25k storage, and then I'm probably just going to sleep. I haven't used a sleep yet. Let me see where. Are you done with iron? It is. Okay. Just surveying everything right now, just seeing where everything's at. Drill module T1. There we go. That should be enough. Okay. That's going. This is shut off. I'm going to sleep really quick to finish that blueprint. It is night, and that is fine. Uh, going to connect to controller. All these constructors are done. That's the fantastic thing about doing that, is they finish everything they were working on. get my cargo hauler ready to go. So I don't know if there's something out here. Hear noises all the time, but I don't see anything. Okay, I've got it out here. I am going to... Yeah, I'll just fill it. Alright. Time to move. Oops. Did it again. So, from here now, I'm going to head e west. Get it high off the ground, three meters max. That's always the best thing to do is use your space bar, get it high off the ground. And now I'm really set. Now on this playthrough, in terms of where I am for resources. Uh, by the way, sorry, side topic. If you press your Alt key, you can kind of freeform look around, but you can also mouse wheel in and out and use your page up and down key. So just a little tip there. But on this particular planet now, I am pretty well set in terms of the future on you know being safe. I've got the resources ready to go uh, on me to make more ammo and get a lot of the basic stuff. Carbon ore. Now that I've got my cargo hauler though, this kind of takes it to another level. If I connect to container, uh, now everything I do goes directly into that cargo hauler. And since it's made to carry cargo, it's going to be able to carry a lot, a lot of this stuff with ease. There is, there's the meat. Wait, where's the other one? It's right here. Let me get this other cargo too, or this other carbon. I do need a lot of carbon, so this is perfect. The next thing you want to do, though, is you do want to consider getting to the other planet. So I unlock the teleporters. I have the key matrix. Um, you do need to get to some of those other planets. Now, there's a couple things you can do on those planets. Uh, you can do the quest. There's a, there's a quest line that comes uh, as part of this game, which obviously you've noticed me kind of clicking through some of the menus and saying, no, don't read. Um, 
those continue on the other planets. So you will need to get there for that if you plan to do the quest. The other thing the other planets bring are different resources uh, in terms of what you need to build your starter ship. Because ultimately, kind of your goal is how do you get off the starter system? How do you get out of here? I'm getting cold already. That's okay. That's okay if I'm a little bit cold. But when you get in, there, in terms of getting out of the starting system, there's a couple of resources that become really critical. Neodymium, um, titanium sometimes, maybe a little of restroom and zascosium for your, your warp drive or shield or whatever. All right, I got to probably get back in my thing here before I freeze to death. And those are going to be the main resources that you're going to want to worry about getting right away. Okay. Let's move on. Let's see if I can get up this hill. Yeah, I get up, which is fine. Now I'm all warm. I'm going to head over to this cobalt deposit. Uh, Prometheum is another resource you get on different planets and in somewhat bulk. Um, the other thing you can find is on Skillon, and I will do... Uh, I will definitely head there, but on skill on you can find a lot of wrecks. And within those wrecks you can find a lot of valuable resources as well, thrusters and whatnot. Uh, one thing you can do as well is back at your base, you could set up some defenses, uh, maybe a turret. Now that you have a large constructor, you could definitely have that hooked up there, but doing so also draws power. So it's kind of a, a you know balance of what you want to spend your fuel or resources on. Okay, and I am done there. 140, that's not too bad. 2,000 um, 2, of the carbon. I'm going to head north. Head to that iron and silicon. They will be fast to pick up. Here's the original hole. Head back down with the with the drone, pick up this iron. Now the key is that earlier on I pressed F4, I linked to container which forces all of this right into the cargo of the HV. And I think that's everything. As soon as I get the silicone, I will head back to base. Yeah, I don't see any enemies around. So fast, though. I mean, just this, the speed at which I'm getting all these resources is so nice compared to the survival tool. But that's why it's here. That's why you get to it as fast as you can. And really aim to minimize what you drill early on. Okay. Uh, silicone is almost done. Okay, we're done. It 
definitely does not fly like the uh, the little the little HV that I spawned first. It doesn't cruise through the air like that, but it still works good enough. For how much this thing can hold, it does uh, it does a pretty good job. Okay, here I am. I'm gonna drop all that off. I'm gonna survey what's all around here. Okay, and I'm gonna get out, head down, get all that ore constructing. Cargo hauler? Yeah, I did empty it all. I thought it would have had more. I guess I got a lot of carbon substrate. And this guy will have to do the cobalt. just kind of thinking out some of the next moves here ultimately you know kind of the next thing you want to do is build an escape cv i have a, 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 a cv that i call chonk created for reforged eden but i did make a conversion for vanilla imperion it is not on the workshop yet that is a great starter and the one i'm going to go for so looking at the material list silicone a thousand i don't have neo i don't I, sh I don't quite have enough carbon substrate but i might be able to get more out of the deposits Cobalt 912, which I'm going to need more, need to mine more of. Titanium I don't have. Copper I don't have enough. And then you get to Sadium and Restrooms, Ascosium. Um, from there, I'm actually going to start hopping to a couple different planets and probably get a warp vessel. So in order to get some of this, you can get lucky with, with drops and stuff like that. But the other way to go about it is you can build a SV, which I have one called SV See You Later. That's right, see you later, as in you got an SV and you want to get off your planet. Uh, actually, not that one. It is this one right here for Imper for Vanilla. Uh, I'm going to bring that one into the factory, and I'm going to start building this one next. So that way I can get onto other planets in the system. So the other planets I eventually want to get to are Omicron and possibly Simos. Yeah, I've got enough to build that. Half of that. Half of that. And then I need 88 cobalt ingots. I think this ran out of fuel. Which I should have right here. going to throw a few of those in there. Oh, and the output. I got plenty. And I am cold. Okay, I am not level 10. That's right. What level am I here? I'm level 8. I'm cold, but I'm going to take a shower. Look at that. Now I'm back to warm. All right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for episode 2. Uh, my next goals are going to be, number 1, getting some levels. Uh, number two, getting that warp ship going, and actually, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to build an ore scanner before I forget, because I'm eventually going to need that as well, an ore scanner for other planets. And then after you know I get that warp ship, I'm going to start jumping to some other planets, but the other thing I need to do is, in order to get to some of these other planets, I'm going to want transportation. So I'm going to want to build some ships for those planets for example, if I want to go to Skillon to get the Neodymium and maybe some Prometheum, I might want to build a ship that's capable of carrying it over there. Either way, that's going to wrap it up for episode 2. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining. Hit that like and subscribe button, and hope to see you next time. Thanks, everyone.